Hey there, and welcome to the BMW E36 era lighting tutorial. This is intended to give you information in terms of the stock lighting setup for the headlights of the E36 era BMW, and also upgrade possibilities that you may have if you want to upgrade from your stock lights. So, apologies ahead of time for a couple things. Number one, I'm going to be talking pretty quick. Uh, YouTube has a 10 minute limit. I'm probably going to have to do uh, at least two segments to run through all the information that I want to cover in this. So I'm going to be talking pretty quick to get as much information squeezed into as little amount of time as possible. Uh, the other thing, also apologies ahead of time, there are probably a couple uh, additional props and lighting components that I should have here in order to really go through things thoroughly, but I'm not going to go out and buy them just to do this tutorial video. So kind of going to try to make do with what I have here on hand. So um, if there's certain bulb types that I'm not able to show you, ballast, HRD plug and play kits, that type of thing that you are uh, interested in, take a look on vendors' websites, Google things, take a look around on the, uh, on the forums in uh, the archive threads, and I'm sure you will be able to find pictures and more information on uh, exactly what these things look like and how they function. But um, that is that. Now that we have that out of the way, let's get started. If you bought a... Uh, E36 era BMW in the United States back in the 90s. This is the piece of junk headlight that the car was uh, was stocked with. This came off of my uh, 98 M3 sedan. That car carried a, uh, I believe a $42,000 sticker on it and got these pieces of plastic put in it. So um, these are kind of a joke for uh, this kind of caliber car. I would expect to see something like this on a Kia. Definitely not the uh, the best light that you can have on there. So. There are a lot of reasons to upgrade from this. This is what we call a uh, reflector type uh, headlight over here. By reflector, what I mean is we have a headlight bulb that goes in the back of here. This is a 9006 bulb. This bulb over here that the, the light itself sits in has a reflective coating on it. And the reflective bulb takes the light output from the light and reflects it onto the road. So that's pretty much how these work. Now, there are a couple downfalls to these lights. Number one, the reflector setup. Not the most efficient thing out there. Um, does not provide the most uniform light output. Does not provide the most intense light put output on the road. There are definitely a lot of ways that we can improve upon that. Number two, plastic lenses. These, um, they're just plain low quality. They tend to really start to chip after a while on the highway. They start to haze over. They get a lot of rock chipping and pitting in them. And um, definitely not the best quality thing. So. We have a lot of room to uh, move upwards in terms of upgrading from this type of uh, headlight setup. So if you want to do that, we have a couple options. If in the 1990s you bought an E36 era BMW in Europe, you got something that looked a little bit closer to this. Now these are commonly referred to as glass ellipsoid headlights. These uh, came from a company named Bosch that stocked them in the, uh, the Euro cars back in the 90s. So. This is actually a light made by a company called ZKW that makes, uh, makes a light that's very close to the Bosch one. All these are actually pretty close in design. They do have their differences, which we'll go over those in a couple minutes, but uh, basic info about this type of light, the dual ellipsoid or the, the glass lens ellipsoid light. In opposition to the reflector bowl setup that we have here in the stock US head headlight, we have a projector setup in the Euro style light, which differs a little bit. Same type of deal, the bulb goes in the back over here. Difference being over here, this is an H1 bulb, not a 9006 like in the stock US headlight. The bulb sits in a reflective bowl, same thing, so it happens to be a little bit smaller. The difference here with the projector is that there is a projector lens in the front over here, okay? What that does is takes the focal point of the, uh, the light where the bulb is most intense, kind of forms it into a uniform beam pattern and projects that out onto the road. Now the upside to this is that you get a more focused light, the light overall is more intense, and the light is in all the right places, meaning you don't have stray light kind of shining up in people's eyes or way over on the side of the road where you don't need it. It's kind of all uniform, relatively uniform, um, on the road where you want it. So already we know that these uh, put out better light than the US headlights. Another up, the glass lenses over here. Okay. Definitely a, uh, a step up from the piece of junk plastic that we had on these headlights. So, a little bit more resistant to uh, rock chipping, you know, fading, sandblasting from a highway driving, that type of thing. So, 
Um, they also really aesthetically wake up the front end of the car when you put a nice uh, brand new glass uh, set of glass lens headlights on them. They do keep keep note of this. Come with a you can order this as an option or order it after the fact. Laminex makes the type of film that you can put over the uh, the glass lenses to keep them from uh, chipping over time. So definitely something that you may want to look into. Um, a couple more differences. Moving around to the back of the ZKW Euro style headlight. This over here, normally, we would have a cover on the back of this. Okay, don't have it on hand right now, but that what that does is actually seals the entire headlight from uh, from the elements from the outside. And the electrical connections are made through this little four prong wire over here. Okay, I'm not going to take this off right now, but this does screw off, and you got four wires for the uh, high beam, low beam. We also have in here a little 12 volt, uh, or maybe it's 6 volt, I don't know. They call these city lights. They're almost like daytime running lamps. I'm not going to get too much into that. But, uh, so, in your E36 era US car, you have a male 9006 connector that normally would plug right into the bulb that goes onto the back of this. Okay. These, this is how these work, the vendors supply them with this little 4. Uh, four-wire plug-and-play harness with female 9006 connectors, okay? So what happens is the male plug for the low beam plugs into here, the male bug plug for the high beam plugs into here, you got the back sealed over here, you got the back for the high beam sealed over here, you wind up with all your electrical connections being made because the wires are connected internally right to the bulbs, another one that goes right over here, you got them for the high, be high beam side, okay? All the connections are made internally, the light is sealed from uh, from the elements, and it just plugs right into your stock uh, male 9006 connectors. Very convenient. So you just pop your old headlights out, you pop these in, you have a better looking, better performing light that's better quality, made with better plastics, and has a nice glass lens on here that looks better, and uh, it's more resistant to highway chipping. So definitely a, uh, an upgrade. There are a few options in terms of upgrading to glass lens ellipsoids. ZKW is only one of them. These lights are very high quality. They're also a bit on the expensive side. They, uh, they run four to five hundred dollars depending upon what vendor you uh, procure them from. So They're actually getting a little bit hard to find. I can't tell you offhand who has them anymore. I'm not going to play uh, vendor favorites either, but look around. Four to five hundred bucks for the ZKW uh, set of headlights. Another option is a company called Depot that makes their version of the uh, the Euro glass lens ellipsoid. Now looking at this, it looks very similar to the ZKW headlight. What are the differences between a headlight like this, which sells for about $150 to $200, depending upon where you get it, and the four or $500 headlight? Well, we get better plastics with the ZKW light. We do get better optics as well. Um, the projector setup, the projector optics, if you look at the cutoff shield, if you look at the quality of the uh, projector lens and the bowl and how things are put together. A little bit better than the ZKW. Light output in the depot is very respectable still. The glass is pretty decent quality. Where you really uh, cut corners on these is the quality of the plastic. Plastics here are a little bit more brittle. They're a little bit harder to work with. People do wind up breaking tabs on them if they try to force the corners in or force things when they're, uh, when they're bolting them in. So something to watch out for. Uh, but in terms of overall value, these, you know, you might be able to get them, pick up a set for 150 bucks. Are the ZKWs worth over two times more to get a set of these? I mean, that really is up to you. It's a matter of personal opinion. They are better headlights. It's just whether or not you think uh, they are worth the extra money.